Hey guys, and welcome to another Blueprint. This time it is Movie Car Circuit by Dusty Chin. Three laps. And, well, uh, yeah, there's no class on this, so you can use whatever the hell you want when it comes to, uh, uh, well, class of car, but type of car is limited to uh, I think these are all classic movie cars or well cars used in movies apparently uh, whatever uh, anyway it's three laps road racing it's wet season but I do believe it's dry clear afternoon yeah so Let's try it. Uh, I ha have actually driven... Well, I've driven the first lap a couple of times um, to find a car for this. Uh, because, well, there's no need for me to do it in, like, C600 and take a week about this video. It doesn't take that long to show the layout. But, yeah, I settled on an S1... Uh, verse, or is S1 tune and this uh, Ford Shelby GT500. And the AI brings all sorts of weird crap, as usual. But it's about, ooh, I think it was two and a half minutes, something like that. Well, it's not entirely useless. I mean, still, you know, an AMC Gremlin in S1900? Well, let's just say that there are cars that I would prefer before I would go to the Gremlin. <laughs> but anyway, let's start this and go to the map. And, of course, everything's faster off the line than me. Uh, so we start down in Mulege, round up to the highway, down to the roundabout, and then up into the jungle, down through here. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. And then across here, and then around Mulege, down to the stock print again. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. The biggest worry is getting the AI out of the way as per usual. Not really competitors, they're more rolling roadblocks. And even if you set them to unbeatable, on these blueprints, well, they're sort of, I mean, at least on custom blueprints, they're not. Sometimes they get lost, sometimes they, yeah, I'm not sure what they're doing, but they're not following normal racing tempo, and yet, somehow, as if I match you. They are right behind you. That doesn't matter what uh, difficulty you set. Unbeatable, high skill, tourist, whatever. strike a distance like that back to the AI in such a short amount of track 
you'd imagine. Well, you're gonna keep increasing the distance back to the game. It stays the same. Which means that the AI are gonna have to say you open up a distance of yeah, five seconds on the first lap. And the next lap you do roughly the same. But given that the distance doesn't increase back to the AI, they're gonna have to be five seconds faster than you to catch up. Now sometimes the lap times prove this because the AI will buy some stroke of luck or genius be a lot faster than you on lap time uh, and sometimes it doesn't where they'll do lap times roughly the same as yours as their fastest lap uh, but still you know lose by quite a margin And sometimes, if you're really lucky, they simply lose touch with you. It's like you break them or something, and yeah, you can really open up the distance. But that's very rare. I'm not impressed with the rubber banding in this game. They're right there. A little bit further behind than on the first lap, but still. saying this is the fastest car in the world, but I would claim I struggled whoa, to get an S1900 Gremlin around in the same lap time. But uh, yeah, the AI doesn't have that problem. And gets even worse if it's, you know, anything goes. But they show up in a, well, I know, PLP50 or a Ford Bronco or something retarded and do the same lap time as you.
fan of the stupid city related music. Lamp posts and crap. Usually they would uh, post amazing lap times on the final lap. So let's see. I think it broke. Oh well, who cares? Next. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, and the car I was using was the 2013 Ford Shelby GT500. And the tune I was using was. Um, this one. There you go. One two four two zero two seven four eight. Um, but that, as usual, is not really important. What is important is the blueprint. Let me pull that up again. So two four. Oops. Four. There we go. Movie car circuit. And uh, yeah, go race it. It's actually quite a fun track. And um, please remember to like it, right? And, uh, well, yeah, while you're at it, please remember to do the same with this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye.